Today I'm gonna to show you how to make Instant Pot Creamy Tomato Chicken. So my name is Kristen and I am one of the many sisters from SixSisterStuff.com. Now, as you know, we love sharing our Instant Pot recipes with you, but in case you didn't know, we have an Instant Pot cookbook coming out in literally one month. So if you want to pre-order that cookbook, I'll go ahead and put a link down below in the description for you. You guys are not gonna wanna miss it. It's over 100 recipes, delicious Instant Pot recipes that are simple to make and taste amazing. So down below in the description, don't forget to pre-order. All right, if you guys are ready, let's get cooking with this delicious creamy chicken. So first you're gonna push the saute button, which I already pushed, and we're gonna just let it heat up till it says hot. So while that's heating, we're gonna go ahead and mix some delicious spices that we're gonna put on our chicken. Okay, so we're gonna do a half teaspoon of salt, paprika, garlic powder, and Italian seasoning. So mix this all together, and then I'm just gonna just actually put it right into my bag of chicken. So I have, let's see, three, four, four chicken breasts in here. We're just gonna dump this in, and then kind of just mix it all around. We wanna cover up that chicken with all those spices. So just kind of wiggle it up. Nice. Okay, there we go. Once our chicken is covered, we're gonna go ahead and put it into the Instant Pot. So, First, we're gonna just use one tablespoon of butter, kind of put it in there. It's nice and hot in there. And then we're gonna add one teaspoon of oil. So we want our chicken, it's gonna be tasting good with this. Okay, once your butter is melted, ready to go, you're gonna dump in your chicken. And we're gonna saute it for about two minutes on each side. Okay, so we're gonna leave it here for about two minutes and then come back and then flip it over. Okay, now we're just gonna flip these over. Looking good. Now I only did four just because you wanna be able to make sure the chicken can touch the bottom of the pot. All right, so we're just gonna leave those there for two minutes too. These have been cooking for about two minutes, so now we're just gonna pull them out and just put them on this plate because we wanna saute our other things too. So let's put these here. Now these are not cooked all the way through, so we just wanted to give them that flavor by sauteing them. So. Yay. Here we go, okay. We're gonna add just one more tablespoon of butter while it's all nice and hot in there. And then we're gonna add one onion that we're just gonna dump in. And then just one tablespoon of minced garlic. I like garlic. Mm. Okay, put that down. Okay, we're just gonna saute these. Just make them nice and soft for about a minute or two. Um, just, till they're, just till they're fragrant. Okay. Okay, so once the onions are all nice and soft, we're gonna add a fourth a cup of vinegar. Just pour that right in. If you need to scrape the bottom of your pan, now would be a good time to do it. So you're gonna deglaze it so when you do pressurize it, it's not gonna burn. So you, if there's anything burned on the bottom, go ahead and get that off right now. Okay, this looks like it's getting ready. So now I'm gonna put the chicken back into the Instant Pot, just right on top of the onions here. Okay, and then we're gonna add um, a little bit of seasoning. Okay, so we have one and a half teaspoons of Italian seasoning. We're just gonna pour it right on top of this chicken. A half a teaspoon of paprika. I like to use smoked paprika, but whatever you have was fine. And then just a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, then we're gonna add one can of tomato sauce. So this is 15 ounces. We're just going to gently pour on top um, you wanna make sure you're not gonna mix this all together because we want that liquid there not mixed with the sauce so it will pressurize. So we're just gonna kinda leave it right here. We're gonna put the lid on. 
And then when you cook it, you want to make sure you push cancel because you need to turn the saute button off. So cancel. Then we're going to push the pressure cook or manual button, depending on which one you have. And then because the chicken has been cooked a little bit already, so we, we only have to cook it for about 10 minutes. All right, so once you set your timer, you kind of wait for it to beep. Once it beeps, you can just walk away. Once the timer is done, you're gonna turn the little knob to venting to let all the pressure out so you can safely open your lid. Oh man, this looks so good. So now we're gonna make it creamy, so we're gonna add a half cup of heavy cream. You don't have to do this step if you don't want to, but I like it nice. Nice and creamy. So we'll just make this a yummy, like, light red creamy sauce. Okay, mix this around a little bit. I'm gonna get my ladle here for you. Now, you have a few options. You can eat it just like this, or you can put some pasta down and put this right on top of your pasta. So, we'll just show you what it looks like here. Pull out our chicken. Yum. And then you'll just pour the sauce right on top of it. All right, you guys. This is so good, you're gonna love it, I promise. Now, if you want more easy, simple, instant pot recipes, you can find them just right over here. And I will see you guys next week. See you later, bye.